We all know that electric vehicles these days have stunningly rapid acceleration. But things are about to get even crazier due to Elon Musk's most recent invention. Tesla's forthcoming carbon-wrapped electric motor with higher RPM variations is about to rock the world for good. This crazy motor will enable the Model S Plaid, the company's most expensive model, to outperform the legendary Bugatti Chiron by almost a second, which is huge. Want to know what else this insane motor has in store for us? Keep watching to find out. On May 22, 2022, Musk introduced Tesla's amazing new engine, which he has dubbed as insane. It seems to be a flawless creation that outperforms the company's past engines. The company's already developed a number of strategies to keep them in the lead of the competitive EV race, and now it seems they have plans to make those strategies even more effective. Musk continued by saying that the new motor is so good that Tesla could completely replace its present lineup with automobiles equipped with state-of-the-art electric motors. He also said the new motor was literally indestructible during a press conference last year. We now understand more about the operation of this potent motor and how it varies from other products on the market from his statement that he planned to establish a world record with it. Musk began by discussing Tesla's most current motor design known as the plate motor. The new motor design is not based on traditional automotive concepts, but rather the technology that drives a Dyson vacuum cleaner. The new plate electric motor will enable a significant decrease in powertrain complexity while boosting performance. According to him, the new motor will be lighter, more cost-effective, and more compact than Tesla's current electric motors made of aluminum. Elon Musk wants to develop a hyper-scalable plate motor that can be used in any vehicle. He made a suggestion about the availability of new, high-capacity batteries for the Model S and future Model X during an investor conference call last year. Contrarily, during his speech at the delivery ceremony, he avoided addressing the mechanics of Tesla's new battery cells and said, we'll announce something next year. Instead, he concentrated on a brand new, highly advanced air suspension system created by Holden, a creative Swedish auto parts manufacturer that's now a Tesla partner. According to the company, customers who purchase the company's model should be able to safely race or lower the vehicle by up to 40 millimeters. With the introduction of the Model S P100D version, Musk didn't disappoint. He unveiled a completely new battery pack design for the upgraded electric car, as opposed to the Model S facelift, which only featured minor power increases and a few new color options. Tesla's 100 kilowatt hour battery pack represents brand new technology that'll eventually be incorporated into other cars. The next generation of autos is almost usually highlighted while discussing Tesla's future, Yet, the business is also making future plans for pricing. Musk emphasized his enthusiasm for the new Charger. There weren't many details provided, but we know a little bit more now that Musk has given a YouTube interview. The interview was recorded before the Model 3 debut, but was only recently made public. He says the new Charger would be more efficient than Tesla's existing alternatives. Also, it'll be significantly more affordable and compact, giving users the convenience of home charging. It'll have hard shell housing, liquid cooling, and power electronics. There are currently some Tesla portable chargers, but they're somewhat pricey and huge. Musk did note that the new battery pack will charge at a rate of roughly 100 kilowatts per hour in the interview, which means long distance trips could be charged practically anywhere. However, the interview didn't go into great depth regarding the new technology. Tesla's constantly developing new motor technology, and the company's latest plate will take those advancements to a completely new level. You can always rely on them to give you high-quality vehicles and components because they're one of the most reliable businesses globally. When utilized on a normal motor, new license plates provide greater power and less weight than any other engine on the market. Musk didn't explain how it operated, but he did mention that it was created by robots that could put 2 million components together in an hour. He further asserted that carbon fiber weave design, which will revolutionize the auto industry, was inspired by his cat's hairball. Although the actual price of the new motor has not yet been disclosed by Tesla, he stated that it would be far less expensive than previous Tesla motors, and a free replacement motor will be given to anyone who purchased a Tesla after July 1st. The Tesla's new motor design will be able to produce power and efficiency unmatched by anyone else in the most important lesson to learn.
The company can reduce the overall motor size without compromising quality by employing a plate design which allows it to position each of the different company components as near to one another as possible. The sum of all the parts reveals that Tesla can reduce volume by 40 to 50 percent while achieving a promoter efficiency of 120. The battery capacity of electric vehicles may be significantly affected, which is a major improvement over the existing industry standard. We've been talking about the impending Tesla Model 3, one of the most significant innovations ever, for a while now. Musk mentioned that the issue preventing the car from leaving the factory is its power plant. He claimed that even just doing this is a really sophisticated operation, which is why they have a machine created only for it. He stated that additional information on the equipment would be made available later for other companies wanting to produce electric motors. He sure that these missions will make producing electric motors for other companies simpler and less expensive. The electric motor is one of the most significant innovations. It's quite admirable that while designing our technologies, the needs of the future are taken into account rather than only satisfying our immediate needs. The stator and rotor are the key parts to examine. The short circuit conducting bars that make up the rotor bus are joined by end rings. The stator is connected to a three-phase AC power source. The coil and three-phase AC produce the magnetic field. Tesla's motors create a magnetic field using four poles. In an induction motor, the rotor bar is turned by a current that's induced by the rotating magnetic field. The stator speed is always faster than the rotor speed, or RMF speed, Although lacking brushes and permanent magnets, the induction motor is quite strong. The rotational speed of induction motors is peculiar because it depends on the frequency of the AC power supply. This suggests that the power supply frequency can be adjusted to alter the wheel's rotational speed. Thus, the speed control is incredibly simple and reliable. The battery pack powers the induction motor. As the source delivers DC power, it must be charged into AC power before it can power the motor. Here's where the inverter is essential. By converting DC to AC and altering the frequency of the resulting AC power, the inverter makes it possible to change the amplitude of the AC motor and thus adjust the motor speed. The inverter can also alter the output power of the motor. It functions as the electric car's brain as well. Most people would be surprised to learn that battery packs are large assemblages of common lithium-ion battery cells similar to those used in everyday life. To generate the electricity required to power an electric vehicle, the cells are connected in series and parallel. One of the innovations that distinguish Tesla from other manufacturers of electric vehicles is the way the glycol coolant is circulated between the cells through metal inner tubes. To achieve significant cooling, several smaller cells are used instead of a few large ones. As a result, thermal hotspots are avoided, resulting in even temperature distribution across the cells and prolonged battery pack life. These cells are set up in removable modules totaling around 7,000 cells over 16 modules. Until the Roadster's unveiled, Model S Plaid remains the best showcase of Tesla engineering prowess. Tesla's always been intelligent, and the company, led by its top geek, appears capable of enacting revolutionary changes in the industry. Tesla's performance is pushed to unimaginable new heights. It's the first Tesla to have three electric motors, two of which are permanent magnet synchronous PC machines with carbon fiber sleeved rotors, one of which is in the front axle. The engine's moving components are all brand new plaid. Since every rotor is wrapped with carbon fiber, the maximum rotational speed is increased by 25% to 20,000 RPM. According to Tesla, in order to create an effective electromagnetic field, the copper wire in the motor must be coiled at an exceptionally high tension due to the differing thermal expansion coefficients of copper and carbon. The technology also tackles an issue with EVs, particularly those with direct drive transmissions like the Tesla, in which power decreases significantly as speed increases. Tesla asserts that until the vehicle hits its top speed of 200 miles per hour, it keeps a thousand of its 1,020 horsepower. Despite having greater power, the Plaid Model S was 175 pounds lighter than the performance model, which weighed 4,828 pounds. Motor Trend claims that the Model S Plaid completed the quarter mile in 9.25 seconds at 152.6 miles per hour. In under 1.98 seconds, 0 to 60 miles per hour was attained. It's impossible to keep up with the Plaid because it moves so fast. Your hands feel light holding the yoke. Your neck muscles hurt as your helmeted head crushes into the headrest as a quarter mile of asphalt melts beneath you. 
and the world around you fades to just forms and colors. Although this is a tremendous accomplishment, the drivetrain would be compromised if the car hit 200 miles per hour at this point. Tesla wants to change the top speed limit for the Roadster. The new Tesla Roadster hasn't been mentioned in over a year, and we assume it's been deferred once more. Thanks for watching. Till next time.